Real Life Applications of Acetone Types by Rebecca Ball Shaley and Alexander Johnston. This is the structure of acetone. As you can see, it is a ketone because it has a double bond to an O with two methyl groups coming off of it. This is acetone NOR. The top left is the CNMR and there are two peaks in it. The bottom right is HNMR, and because they're all ages give off the same signal, there is only one signal that is very high. This is the structure of ethyl acetone. It has both ketone and ester properties. Ethyl acetone and MR. The bottom right shows the four different signals given off by the C and MR. The top left shows the HNMR. Nail polish remover's active ingredient is acetone or ethyl acetate. It is an organic solvent and it dehydrates the skin, causes irritation to the eyes, and also dries out nails. To understand how nail polish remover works, we need to first know what nail polish is made of. Common solvents are ethyl acetate butyl acetate and alcohols, which allow all ingredients to mix together and determine the drying time of the nail polish and thickness of the product. Nitrocellulose, also known as film former, allows the polish to form a smooth surface once applied. Resins and plasticizers add flexibility and resistance against soap and water as well as coloring. There is no actual chemical reaction when the polish remover is mixed with the polish. The active ingredients in both nail polish and nail polish remover are types of solvents. Nail polish remover works based off of the simple principle that like dissolves like. When the nail polish remover is added to the dried nail polish, the nail polish is put back into the form that it was in when applied to the nail. The organic polymer chains in the nail polish are pushed apart by the organic solvent in the remover. Eventually, the polymer chains don't know that the other chains exist, and the polish becomes a solution. The solution can then be wiped off, and the solvent will evaporate. You can see evidence of this on the cotton ball. The leftover residue is hardened or dried nail polish. This dissolving and evaporating process is endless. You can collect dissolved polish and reuse it. These nail and how the acetone in the nail polish remover take the polish off of the nail. have many other applications. These include dissolving paints, varnishes, oils, waxes, resins, plastics, and glues. Acetone is also used in making plastics, grams, fibers, drugs, and photographic film, and is often found in many cleaning solutions. 
In chemistry, acetone is primarily used as a solvent. Acetones have many hazards. Some of these include it being extremely flammable, as seen in this film. Another hazard of acetone is cyanide poisoning. If ingested or inhaled, nail polish remover is metabolized to cyanide. There have been several reports of death caused by cyanide poisoning, primarily in small children, because of nail polish remover being left out and children digesting it. 